Hello, fourth graders. It's Miss Leon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and begin our next lesson, which is three dash four, where we learn um, the distributive um, property and the commutative property together. So this lesson is called Mental Math Strategies for Multiplication. So we're just going to be breaking numbers apart so that we can solve them mentally um, easier than if we're just going the long way of, you know, about it. So we just break numbers apart so that they're easier to solve and then put them back together. So here we go. We're first going to talk about what the commutative property is. And the commutative property means um, that you can change the sequence or the order of the numbers that you're using and the answer will still be the same. So the important part of the word commutative is the word commute, it's inside there. And to commute is to me like to go back and forth between places. So I drew a little picture to help us understand. If I'm at my house and I get in my car and I drive to McDonald's, I'm commuting to McDonald's. And then from McDonald's, I'm commuting to Quick Trip. And then from Quick Trip, I'm going home, that is my commute. And we'll just pretend it's like 13 miles, okay? But maybe I'm at McDonald's and I drive to Quick Trip. And then from Quick Trip, I get home and I'm like, oh my gosh, they forgot me to give me my fries at McDonald's. And I drive back to McDonald's, that's still 13 miles, even though I started from here instead of starting from here. Or I could start at Quick Trip and I could go home and be like, oh my gosh, the kids are hungry. I got to go to McDonald's. Oh, I'm at McDonald's. Oh, I need to get another soda. Go to Quick Trip and go home. It would still be the same 13 miles. It doesn't matter what order I did it in. So now I'm going to move on and give you some examples of the commutative property and the distributive property together. The first example I'm going to give you is this one, 4 times 325. And before I used to break up each place value with a different color, but this time you're going to notice that I have put 325 um, in only two different colors. The three in the hundreds place is blue and the 25 is red. And the reason why is we're going to be thinking about friendly numbers and 25 is a friendly number. If I think about the number 25, I'm thinking about quarters because quarters are worth 25 cents. And I'm going to distribute this four to the three in the hundreds place and the four to the 25. So I'm going to multiply four times three hundred, four times three is my basic math fact, which is 12 with two zeros on the back. And then four times 25, that's like having four quarters. And when you have four quarters, it's one dollar or 100 pennies, right? So I add the 1200 plus the 100 and I get 1300 as my product, my end product. And remember these two little numbers right here, those are your partial products. You add them up and to get your whole product. These are part of it. Now I'm going to give you one other example. The next example is eight times 25. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break eight up into the two factors that multiply together to make eight, four and two. So I would have to distribute 25 to this four and 25 to this two. So four times 25, like we said, that's four quarters. That is a dollar or a hundred pennies. And then we would multiply that by two. So then we would get 100 times 2, which is 200 as our end product. So when you guys are working on multiplying larger numbers, why don't you try breaking that up if you see a 25 in there, using that as your friendly number to help you solve your problems mentally in easier ways. Good luck to you.